second. Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's Monday night, and you know what that means. We're coming to you live from San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico today. And uh, I know you guys are just getting logged in right now. So as you're doing that, welcome. Uh, tonight's going to be a special night. It was kind of an unplanned night for us, unfortunately, but we're going to make a good night out of it. And we're going to dedicate tonight to our friend, Giggles. Giggles, of course, is the proprietor of this place I'm coming to you from tonight. I've never done a show on Facebook from here, although I've sung in this, quote, bar many times. And boy, if these walls could talk. <laughs> uh, we've had some wonderful times here, and uh, we're going to let you know more about Giggles in just a little while. Of course, Giggles just passed away on Sunday, 86 years old, the day after her birthday. What a tough gal. We love her in this town. She's a legend. And you're going to meet her tonight if you've never been here to San Carlos. And if you have set foot in this bar, this might just bring back a few memories of some good times in San Carlos. Do me a favor as you're logging on. Um, if you know somebody out there who is watching something depressing like the news, get them to turn that stuff off, hop on over here, and have a fun, positive night with me and my friends who are here watching tonight. Hi, guys. How are you? I, I couldn't quite hear you. <laughs> so once again, we have a live studio audience. What's going on here? Uh, it's going to be a fun night, even more fun when you go over to your fridge right now, open it up, grab a glass, and pour yourself a fun beverage. Uh, let your friends know about it. And if you're able to share tonight's show on your own Facebook page, that's a huge help to us. Um, so friends of Giggles, and even those of you who never met her, stay tuned because right after the theme song to Mulligan's Island, we're coming back. I'll be joined by special guest Sam Rainwater tonight. Even have my friend Susan King sitting in for a couple of songs. And you'll also hear a song from our buddy Bobby Salen too, among other things, pictures and videos. It's going to be a good time here as we celebrate the life of giggles. Here's the theme song from Rudy B from Mulligan's Island. Let's make our way down to Mexico Where we can meet the friends we know White sand, warm sun, and H2O It's time for us to get back to laid back Try a different beer from our favorite six pack This crazy world says, come on, let's go It's time for the music man, a coastal kid with guitar in hand. Even bad days are good here on the island. Giving us a place where we can talk to each other fan to fan. Uncharted courses crossing our paths. It's our kind of and our kind of place Down in the tropics It's a Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island It's the right place and the right time To be south of the border again This is the day we get to listen in We don't sing no blues anymore We kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man, a coastal kid with guitar in hand. Even bad days are good here on the island. Giving us a place where we can talk to.
to each other fan to fan uncharted courses crossing our paths it's our kind of people and our kind of place down in the tropics a mexican hideaway the life in the soul beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night from Mulligan's Island. And tonight we are in a legendary place. We are in Giggles Bar. And even though Giggles is no longer with us, she's with us. Am I right, guys? Those of you just tuning in, Giggles is a legendary figure in this town, a friend to all of us. She's been in this town about as long as I have and just passed away on Sunday at the age of 86 in her sleep peacefully after a wonderful day on her birthday. Thank you, God, for that. And at the last minute, Elsa and I were able to scrap all of the plans we had for a, a travel show to El Fuerte we were going to show you tonight. And we rounded up a few friends, and we came back to Giggles Bar. And uh, we've got Elsa running the uh, computer tonight. we got Pablo and Anais on stage with me and some other special guests who are going to join me. We've even got a studio audience tonight. Hi, guys. <laughs> so let's start things off let's bring you down here and between songs tonight we're going to introduce you all over again to giggles you're going to hear her voice you're going to see some pictures of her and a whole bunch of her friends here in san carlos welcome to giggles bar everybody a bar down in mexico <laughs> Got that green light at the 21K. Now I'm south of the border again. I'll be eating Dorado at the end of the day. South of the border again. South of the border again. And it feels so good, my friend. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sales out. Cerveza, slice up a lime, pour a little salt on the rim. I tossed my watch, now I'm taking my time. South of the border again. South of the border again. And it feels so good, my friend. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sales out on. Take the sea and the sun. Oh, oh, heading south's more fun. Oh, oh, I still can't explain it. How one foot across that line leaves me in a mañana state of mind. Waterfront bar where the waves come rolling in. A voice in the crowd says, Welcome back, Mark. South of the border again. South of the border again. And it feels so good, my friends. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sails out on the wind. South of the border again. Cause I'm south of the border, right guys? South of the border, where are we tonight? South of the border again. And 
that's a good spot to be. Welcome, everybody, just joining us. We are coming to you live from a bar down in Mexico in San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. And we're going to introduce you right now, just in case you've never set foot in this place and had a drink with Giggles, meet Giggles right now. And here she is, everybody, the famous Giggles. <laughs> Giggles, you got a lot of fans in this Whoa. town. Whoa. <laughs> They're paid. Yeah. <laughs> she paid the so, thing. Giggles, how did you end up in San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico? Well, uh, I was working in Palo Verde and I had, was working something like 19 to 20 hours a day during outages. At the well, nuclear plant, okay? Yeah. So, when, when the unit would come back online, I was allowed to take my two week vacation. and my brother-in-law and sister-in-law wanted to come down and check it out and buy a place. Oh, wow. So we came with them. When? When was this? In the early 70s. So you've been around this town for a while. Yeah. And yeah. you've seen some changes. A lot of changes. Yeah. We go away in the summertime and come back and you see the changes. Yeah, no doubt. Well, Giggles, we love you and we miss you. And uh, this song, boy, this, is, this was your song right here. This place is named after it. And I think we need to take everybody watching this show down tonight to a bar down in Mexico. What do you guys think out there? Well, I have worked my fingers to the bone. Trying to build myself a happy home. But the more I work, the more goes to the man. So now I've got myself a better plan. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico where I can't pull for the friends I know. A shot or two up front down by the sea. Come on, Giggles, help us out. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun? on down to our friend Giggles Place. Give it up for Giggles, everybody! I'll be pouring drinks from dusk up till the dawn. While we dance the night away with Sam Rainwater on. I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico where I can't pour for the friends I know. A shot or two of button down by the I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun, a bar in Mexico and me? Well, I'll wake up every morning with nothing on my mind. Pouring margaritas in a palm tree paradise. Everybody, I'm gonna buy me a what? gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico. But what else could I ever need but the sun a bar in Mexico and me? What else could I ever need? Senoritas by the sea, the sun a bar in Mexico. And all of you guys, help us out. La, 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 la. I think I hear giggles singing along, everybody. What about you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's have another conversation with giggles. Uh, learn a little bit more about this place known as a bar down in Mexico. So the bar. How did, how did this bar happen? Uh, well, I needed to buy a place because Bruce was on disability. Okay. And I needed to buy it while I was still working and, and money coming in. So we, my brother-in-law took me to the other trailer parks down there, and no, 
It's just, it's just not my cup of tea. He said, well, there's one more up by the mountain. I said, let's go check it out. As soon as I drove in the gate, I said, this is the place. Wow. And that's how it all started. That's how it all started. And I drove, we drove around and looked around. And this corner lot here was for sale, but it was for sale by already an owner, not, not the, not, not the groceries. Okay. Right. And so wow. I got the, I got this piece of dirt. So giggle. Well, you know, now that we're all sitting in this bar down in Mexico, I, I kind of think we all ought to pop open a nice cold Pacifico. What do you think? Blue water and sunny skies. Another day in paradise. It wasn't long ago we said goodbye. And I ended up down here. Now who's to blame? I can't recall. But who cares? It doesn't matter at all. Cause I'm a world away from you. Suck it down in ice cold beer. But things never quite work out like I planned. What you doing back on my mind again? Sand dollars and pesos, a slight buzz and a sunburn nose. It ain't much, but it's something to show for all this wasted time. I thought the beaches and the ocean view were all I needed to get over you. The sun is shining like tequila gold, but I'm Pacific blue. I could tell you about the fun I've had. At first it really wasn't all that bad. The weather's nice and the people are too. So how could I complain? But last night when I was all alone, I left a message at the sound of the tone and said, honey, won't you pick up the phone before I go insane? You cut me off and you left me Tequila gold, but I'm Pacific Oak. I'm going to hop on the other side of the bar right now and have a little chat with Giggles. So Giggles, I've, I've, we've all heard many stories about people who actually think this is a bar. People, I mean, Tell us about that. What happens? Well, there's been many, many people that are driving by with the car and say, oh, look, there's a bar. You know, and they've stopped and come in. It's a bar open. Oh, sure, come on in. But the cutest one, is two people drove up on bicycles. And they said, is the bar open? I said, sure, come on in. You have beer? Oh yeah, I've got three, three kinds. And I told them what it was. And they sat and had three beers a piece. And, and, they said, and I said, would you like another? And they said, no, no, we better go off. We can still ride the bicycle. Uh, how much do we owe? I said, you owe nothing. This is my bar. You owe nothing. And they went, well, we have it's our pleasure. It is our pleasure. And we've had this pleasure for over 30 years now. How oh, cool. That's great giggles. Hey, giggles! Is the bar open? 
Well, I'll tell you what. I think you guys know what to say when I say the word bartender. Otra tequila. Are you ready for one? Bartender. Otra tequila. My second home is a third world cantina. I'm the guy who plays the guitar south of the border in your tourist town bar. I've dodged bottles, been heckled by jerks, and all I got was this lousy shirt. They're squeezing limes and mixing margaritas. My second home is a third world cantina. The place fills up when the sun goes down, cause it's the only show in town. My second home is a third world cantina. Salt in the air and sand on the floor. Fine dining ain't what they're here for. They want to dance and they want to get loud. Bartender, what you do to this crowd? They're singing, I, 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 I can't hear you guys. I, 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 Sailors just off the sea. Sunburned beach bombs and real world refugees. Yeah, they've all got their story, but there's one that we all share. Right, Giggles? We're all here. Cause we ain't all there. Hi, Leslie! Come on, Yana, we'll move a little slow. By happy hour, we'll be raring to go. Whoever told you that I'd never get far? A buenas noches from a Mexican bar. There ain't no place better this boy can ever dream of. My second home is a third world cantina. So bartender, fire up another round of margaritas. My second home is a third world cantina. Our second home is a third world cantina. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what, in just a moment, we've got a special guest coming on here. Our friend Sam Rainwater has been a big part of the music scene. But let's check back in with Giggles here. It's nice to hear Giggles' voice right now and see her face, isn't it? Let's go back to Giggles. So, Giggles, you've had quite a few entertainers play here at uh, Bar Down in Mexico. Thanks to you, Mark. Well, cool. We always have a great time. It's a great concert venue. In yeah. fact, let's let's take a walk over to your wall over here and okay. uh, and see exactly who's played here. Times I understand that he ever got drunk <laughs> on Bacanora here in my house, and Bacanora is. Uh... So, Giggles, you've had quite a few entertainers play here at uh, Bar Down in Mexico. Thanks to you, Mark. Well, cool. We always have a great time. It's a great concert venue. In yeah. fact, let's let's take a walk over to your wall over here and okay. uh, and see exactly who's played here. <laughs> so here we are. This is kind of one of the walls here that shows all the different artists that have played at a bar down in Mexico. Giggles, tell us about some of these people. Who's this guy down here? Well, that's Brent Burns, and he had, he's a comedic songwriter, and I have one of his T-shirts with his song, Retired. <laughs> How did you like that one? Oh, I love it. <laughs> How about this couple? That's that's uh, Leslie and Bobby Salem. Apparently they worked as backup singers for the Mamas and Papas at one time early, yeah. early on in their days. Okay. Um, and how about this character right here? He looks like he's having a good time. That's my Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my Sam that's Rainwater. That's Sam Rainwater. All right. In my um, bigger day. How about, this guy, how about this guy right here? Ephraim. And I was 
fortunate enough to be able to afford to replace his guitar. That's right. And he was a very, very happy camper. He was. F and I is of a legendary group down here called the Twins. They're a lot of fun. That was cool of you to do that. I, I, I see David and Jody Sheehy right here. Yeah. Sonny Jim up here playing with the Twins. What about this guy? Uh, How'd Kelly, he make your wall? Kelly McGuire. First of all, he, was, he wrote a song, Daddies and Daughters, that I prodded him for about five years to please publish it. Said, put it in your, and he just did it. Finally, finally he did. <laughs> that sounds like Kelly. But he came over one day on a bicycle, and the party was getting together, and that was the first time I understand that he ever got drunk <laughs> on Bacanora here in my house. And Bacanora is uh, Sonora's answer to tequila. Yeah. And Kelly did not need to be drinking that, believe me, because half uh, Michelob Ultra has them wasted. <laughs> Kelly, shame on it's you. Really, it's, really, it's really funny. How about this guy right here? Oh, that's my, that's my, <laughs> that's my utter, utter son. <laughs> well, thank you, Jingles. Well, one of the guys we just saw on that wall right over there is a fixture here at a bar down in Mexico and one of Giggle's closest friends, longtime friends. It is so nice to have him here with us tonight to do a few songs throughout the night. Would everybody out there sitting on your couch, or you guys here in the studio audience, give a big welcome to our friend Sam Rainwater. Thanks, Mark, and it's really nice to be on the wall. <laughs> This song was inspired by uh, Giggles and one other person who was a mulligan, but not the Mark Mulligan, who was inspired by a John Mulligan. Lots of jokes about trailer trash. Pink flamingos on the lawn. Big red three written on the side dead cars on the lawn when someone says that they have one makes you stop and blink but where that trailer's parked is more important than you think because it's okay to have a trailer down in mexico especially when it's down by the sea it's okay to watch your pesos living frugal's not a sin we just wish that there was luck for us to come on in. Now little shacks down by the sea have always had appeal. But living without services is really a big deal. Aluminum enclosures are truly an upgrade. With frozen drinks and indoor plumbing, you know you got it made. Cause it's okay to have a trailer down in Mexico. Especially when it's down by the sea. It's okay to watch your pesos. Living frugal's not a sin. We just wish that there was room for us to move on in. It's locales down here. Up north, tornadoes search them out. Down here, no need to fear. It may not last forever, but hey, who of us does? The bucks you save means you can spend more on the things you love. You know, you know, Buffett wrote that he was glad he didn't live in one. And that sailor's son was talking about the keys. They're overrun. If he saw how they look down here, I think he'd change his rhyme and rewrite that last verse to say, down here they're just fine. Cause it's okay to have a trailer down in Mexico, especially when it's down by the sea. It's okay to watch your pesos, living frugal's not a sin. 
we just wish that there was room for us to move on in. One more time, everybody sing. It's okay to have a trailer down in Mexico, especially when it's down by the sea. It's okay to watch your pesos, living frugal's not a sin. We just wish that there was room for us to move on in. When you're living by the ocean, any place is a win-win. How about this beautiful woman right here? Who is that? And why is she hanging out at a bar down in Mexico? Well, early on before you became a couple, she was dating your brother. And you guys, That's another story. <laughs> you guys came over in the evening and we were having a good time and serving up Bacanora. And uh, I got her wasted on Bacanora. <laughs> I think she's still hung over from that. <laughs> All right. No, How, she's a lovely, lovely lady. She's a lot of fun. How about right here? This couple right here? Well, that's Neil Duvall and Michelle. She teaches dance and all of that, and he's of the dudes. The dudes are a famous uh, uh, classic rock, rock, rock and roll. band down here, and they, they are really popular here in St. Carlos. This character is having way too much fun. Who is that? <laughs> That's Sonny Jim with my baby. <laughs> How about over here, speaking of your baby? Okay, that's Bruce and I. And uh, we met at a party dancing. We danced with each other and danced so well together that it just took off from there. Wow. And uh, Bruce and Giggles, boy, they sure used to dance across my dance floor quite a bit. In fact, their song was The Stray Cat Strut. And he does it better than the stray cat. <laughs> really. How about up here? Oh, now that's... Who is that beautiful woman? Well, that's Bruce and Marky and his mama. Now, yeah. she and I were in separate schools at the same time in Phoenix. Hmm. What year was that? Uh, right around 50, 53, right, right into there. Okay. She... And her husband, your daddy, mm -hmm. share the same wedding anniversary as Bruce and I. That's right. Isn't that wild? Yeah. At any rate, what was funny about this, we took the picture and they, well, if, then the brother came back and he's looking around and he saw his, my mother made the wall of the bar before <laughs> I got here. He could not believe it. Good job, mom. <laughs> Good. You know, as you guys can tell at home tonight, we are celebrating Giggles in, in a festive mood tonight because we if you know Giggles, you know that's how she would want it. Last thing Giggles wants is a bunch of people moping around. That's not the way she was. She was a happy person, and uh, she sure brought smiles to many faces, uh, even strangers who walked into this bar looking for a drink, not realizing they were walking on <laughs> her house's patio. But uh, I, do, I would like to sing one song, um, especially for Giggles tonight. And I also want to welcome... Uh, her children, uh, Scott, her son, and Valley, her daughter, who are watching tonight. Would you give them a round of applause? And everybody, do me a favor and keep keep those two as well as Giggles in, in your prayers because uh, what a difficult time. Uh, you know, we are all thankful, though, that, um, you know, Giggles got a great birthday. Uh, we've heard from some people. She got to spend some time with some friends on her 86th birthday, had a nice dinner with her son who checked on her at 11.15 p.m. that night, and she was fine. She was peaceful in bed, everything good. And by 5 in the morning when he checked on her, she was gone. But you know what? What what a way to go and what a blessing. And I thank God, capital G, for that. I'm glad that she had a nice end to her life. And uh, we couldn't ask for more. Is that right? That's right. So uh, I'm going to send this one out for giggles. And, uh, and her kid's watching. I was sitting on my front porch swing Watching the sun go down Thinking that there's still some things Left to do while it was still around Then the colors took me by surprise I was suddenly so hypnotized I let the worries of life pass me by It was then and there that I realized 
that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go and learn to let it be I was watching mama getting gray then my daddy's strength began to fade that's when I began to pray Lord please don't take them away cause I still got so much left to learn and I love my mom and daddy so but this whole world continues to turn mama said son I thought by now you know that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go front porch swing watching the sun go down thinking that there's still some things left to do while I'm still around then my life passes before my eyes and I'm suddenly so hypnotized is it the colors of the painted sky cause I hear a voice on the other side Singing sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That a sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go Sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That a sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go and learn Going out for giggles and going out for her kids watching tonight. You know, in this corner of the bar one time, I sat with a guitar with a guy named Kelly McGuire and another friend of mine named Sonny Jim, and we had a good time that night. Uh, let's hear a little bit from Sonny Jim right now. Sonny Jim here, saying I wish I were at a bar down in Mexico. The only time I was there was quite a few years ago with Mark Mulligan. Uh, playing one of his festivals in San Carlos and it was nighttime when we went there this is what I'll I remember of the of the night it was nighttime when we got there and already the place was magical there were uh, when we got there the neon lights were going there was music playing and it was just a stunningly neat kind of a thing and uh, the twins were there in their uh, mariachi suit of lights and the guitars got passed around we sang songs in English and in Spanish and <clears throat> I don't even sing in Spanish but I did that night and the best thing was at the end of the night there was no bar tab it was amazing I want to go back to a bar down in Mexico just a beautiful place a lot of fun love you giggles thanks for sharing that beautiful corner of the world with us all Thank you, Sonny Jim, for joining us tonight. And I know you love this place, too, and I know you love giggles. But, uh, hey, we have another friend here with us tonight. Uh, before Sam Rainwater gets up and joins us in a little while, look who hit, popped in. Another friend of a bar down in Mexico, a dear friend of giggles. It's Susan King. And, uh, of course, in Mexico, she's known as Susana Rey. 
And uh, it's great to have her here tonight. And uh, Susan, what do you think? Should we take everybody down to Mexico on this next song? Yes. Why not? I think that's a good place to bring people tonight. You ready? Coming across that border line tonight And I can feel the touch of a young girl Gently take my hand underneath the moonlight Soft refrains on a Spanish guitar Carry me away Our voice is calling as I close my eyes Think I hear her say Mexico In a while, but does she remember? Is she still waiting there for me? Does she ever think about those hot summer nights down by the sea? Distant highways, dusty old roads, you got me crossing the line. Lead me down to where nobody knows. Take me back in time. Mexico, you're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico, but you're another world away, Mexico, those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico, I can feel that wind begin. Mexico, you've been there on my mind for a long, long time, and I know that I just can't stay away, Mexico, like warm white sand in the palm of my hand, gotta go, and I'll be coming back to stay, Mexico, you're the one You're another world away, Mexico. Those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico. What do you think, Susan? Good spot? King on the steel pan. It's nice to have her with us. You know, uh, for just a moment, in the middle of our of our kind of little celebration we're doing here for for giggles, and I do mean celebration of a of a happy, fulfilled life with surrounded by friends and in a place that she loved. That's why we're celebrating tonight. Uh, but there's another thing that I'd like to celebrate tonight. I want to say happy birthday to a friend out there, Ed Sund. Happy birthday! There he is with Sue. And a uh, great picture of the two of them. Hey, happy birthday to you. And um, Ed, Sue would like to send you a song. And I'm going to drag Pablo and Anais out here to join me for it. Ed, same here. Come in. So, uh, Anais, I'm going to lure you from behind the computer. Ed, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. And I sure appreciate you spending it here with us on Mulligan's Island. Um, all right. Lisa? So the song that she would like to send you kind of goes well with playing in a bar down in Mexico. Uh, we're going to sing about that same beer in a different can. All right? Welcome back to the stage. Pablo and Anais, everybody. <laughs> they do it all. I'm like a one-trick pony. I just play this thing. They, they know how to do all kinds of stuff. So, uh. The old man drank a beer every now and then. One day we cracked a couple 
just me and him. At 80 years old, all the stories he could tell ya about his far-flung friends from France to Venezuela. He said, I swig fosters with Aussies and Guinness in an Irish pub. A shiner back and looking back and buddy sure enough it's all a same beer, different can. Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sip, the more you understand it's all the same beer, different can. Our pal Tom Shepard played a tour overseas. Singing for all our folks, stationed in the Middle East, at the ambassador's home right there in Riyadh. He sang a special song he'd written about his dad. And when the show was over, he was loading up his band. This guy walked up to Tom and stuck out his hand. He said, that song about your father really meant a lot to me. Because I just lost mine and you described him perfectly. Now that man had on a white robe. He wore sandals on his feet. He had a gutra on his head. And then it ain't that hard to see. We're all the same beer, different can. Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sip, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. God's gonna get a good laugh when we learn all of us buds and millers and land sharks and Ducate lights and bohemias and even Pabst are all the same beer, different can. Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sit, the more you and we're all the same beer, different can. The more you sip, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. About Pablo and Anais joining me on that one. Great job by those two. All right. Well, let's check back in with Giggles. We're going to head over to that wall, and she's going to tell us, tell you guys how we met. We went to up to the old uh, Froggies that was up above the Ticati store. Well, it's made out. I have one, by the way. <laughs> it's like a menu. <laughs> well, I mean, he has a repertoire you can't believe. <laughs> and we thoroughly enjoyed it. And I, as long as I'm here and standing, I'm at his show. And Giggles has been my front row since I had brown hair, folks. <laughs> and, and, and no babies. That's right. Yeah, that says a lot. So, Giggles, thank you. It's always so fun having her in the front row. But there's some more pictures we want to show you. Oh, wow. Meeting Giggles, I'll tell you, I was, I was sure lucky when that happened because little did I know back in those days when my hair was brown that she would be with me until my hair was gray. Giggles was my front row 
There's a seat at La Palapa Griega every single Wednesday, and I think my next time I see, sit there, we're going to retire that seat for the evening, yeah. and it's going to be Giggles' honorary seat for one night. Um, <laughs> that Giggles, Giggles knew me when my hair was brown, and I had zero kids. What does that tell you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's right. Elsa would like me to remind you of something that I forgot to tell you guys. Back in 2010, when we hit the road for about two years and packed up the, what do we have, two kids at the time, we came back with three and a half after two years. That was a, something on the water down there on the other side of Mexico. But when we went down on that trip to Puerto Morelos between Playa del Carmen and Cancun, Giggles knew we were going to be leaving, and she told Bruce, what's he going to do down there? He doesn't know anybody down there. He doesn't have any fans down there. Uh, you know, doesn't have a following like maybe here in San Carlos. So she was worried about me. So guess what Giggles and Bruce did? They got in their motor home, and they drove for about, I think, five, six days it took them to get down. They drove across the country to beat me there to just so they could go around the town of Puerto Morelos and tell everybody, there's a singer coming down that you got to check out. So my very first show, I had a crowd lined up, and it was all from Giggles walking down the beach telling strangers that they had to go see this Mark Mulligan guy who was coming down. Give Giggles a round of applause, cause and Bruce, and Bruce. It, it, she, was, she was afraid that nobody would, have, would clap for me down there. So she came and clapped really loud. In fact, when Marcos and I finished our four-and-a-half-day drive, before we ever got to our home, we were driving through the little town of Puerto Morelos, still had all of our stuff in the car, and Marcos said, Dad, before we even go unpack, can we just stop and hit the beach? And I said, sure, son. So I parked the car. And, and the very first people I saw when we got out of our car on the other side of Mexico were Bruce and Giggles. <laughs> so anyway, I know Giggles will relate to me on this song. In 86 years, what a ride she had. Uh, you know, she came out of a difficult childhood in many ways. A lot of us know that. But, uh, boy, she had an adventurous life, saw a lot of Mexico. This place here introduced her to so many people. And, you know, in her 80s, people would come to town, and the first person they wanted to meet on a Wednesday night at Palapa was Giggles. You know, forget the dude on stage. We're here to see Giggles. So, uh, Giggles, this, I know you can relate when I say, what a ride. Because it has been. And I'm going to miss having Giggles along on the ride. I walked into that bar in Kirkland Junction. The place was full of cowboys as I whipped out my guitar with a bar stool for a stage and 50 bucks in pay. Just a few songs into my very first solo gig. He said, my name's Guy and I don't like your music. Uh-oh. Would you kindly take that guitar, drink your beer and hit the road? I said, Guy, I'll tell you what. Name any song you want. And if you stump me, I swear, I'm out the door. Thank God I knew Guy's favorite tune that night. Probably saved my life. If not for rose-colored glasses, what would have happened? I might have gotten killed that night. But Guy just took his hat off and he stuck it on my head. Slapped me on the back and said, I like this kid. And as I look back now, I just say, wow, what a ride. I'm still alive. <laughs> All right, guys, let's cruise up to Rocky Point. To a cantina 60 miles south of the border. Used to be a prison, then a brothel, then a bar. Well, my first career mistake was playing their spring break and wondering, <clears throat> where's the chicken wire? Some punk crawled up on stage and grabbed the microphone so he could scream the F word to all his wasted friends. Well, I kicked his butt off stage and he flew into a rage and a billiard ball came flying at my head. Oh, had I not been sober I might not have moved over and I'd be dead and ate ball to the head but it just grazed my ear and I spilled my beer and 
That was it. Oh, yeah, but not for him. His buddies blew him off, and he couldn't afford the bail. Bet he won't talk about that week he spent in jail. Cause what happens in Mexico, we know how that goes. Oh, my. Let's not go there. Come and gone, and I've been successful at avoiding any type of what they call a real job. And the more that I turn gray, the more I love to play. So thank you guys for listening to my song. From that very first tune in that cowboy saloon, I never knew where the road would lead. From sleeping in cars on beaches and bars I see a lot of miles between from Kirkland Junction to the Texas coast Southern Cal to Florida then down to Mexico I seen buses and trains and boats and planes on this ride this amazing ride so hand me a guitar toss me a mic and I'll keep on singing until the day I die. And with my last breath, I'll say no regrets. What a ride. What a ride. Is that right, Giggles? Been quite a ride. Thanks for the ride. Giggles took us on a pretty good ride around this place, didn't she? Uh, boy, we, we had some great parties here at a bar down in Mexico and so many different entertainers, as you saw from the videos before. Uh, not only entertainers here locally, but you know, guys who would come down visiting from the States. This was a, a must-play spot for some of these guys. And boy, if these walls could talk, we, you'd hear some pretty interesting stories about all of us. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, another part of that adventure... Uh, and a bar down in Mexico. We're, we're kind of celebrating Giggles' life tonight, but we're not forgetting Bruce because Bruce, who passed away just a few years ago, was such a huge part of this too. Another legendary character. Uh, you know, Bruce, even after having part of his leg amputated, would still, with part of a leg, get out on the dance floor with Giggles. Do you guys remember that? He'd get out there and he would dance with her. He just loved music. He loved San Carlos and he loved his friends. And he loved beer. <laughs> Let's let's be honest here. So uh, let's 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 hear a little bit about Bruce right now. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, Giggles. One of my favorite memories here at a bar down in Mexico was actually your birthday party, uh, and ended up taking on some extra significance that we had planned on that day. Let us know what happened that day. Well, we had the party about two or three days earlier than my birthday. I guess it was because of the time of the week or whatever. When I could get the tables and just we shut off the street and many, many people, and all the bands in San Carlos came. That's right. Everybody was here. Everybody was here. Even the kids of the, that Susan King was teaching to play the steel drums, yeah. even they came, and that was wonderful. And Bruce loved it. Bruce loved it. Well, two or three days later, he said, I don't feel well. He says, you want me to take you to the doctor? He says, yeah. Well, that was the last time he spoke. Well, I got a hand to Bruce because during the party that day, we knew that his health was not good. And I walked up to him while we were setting up and I said, oh, yeah, Bruce, yeah. you have only one job today, and that's to keep on breathing. Don't you dare die because we got every band in town coming. Yeah, coming. Yeah. And you know what? He held on. He had a great time. And it was a classic, classic day among many at a bar down in Mexico. Yeah, we had a great, great time. Here's to Bruce. <laughs> One of the things that I remember most about Bruce, um, you know, we had a big party for him here, as you guys know, and, uh, you know, just a few days after that was when they took him north, and those were his final days. But I got to visit Bruce in the hospital when he was not doing well, uh, one of the times when he was not doing well, and surprised him with a couple of friends from San Carlos, <coughs> showed up in his hospital room with a guitar up in Tucson. And his face just lit up. He was so hungry for music and just to see friends again. And when I asked him what song he wanted to hear most, this was the one that he requested right here. This was his 
favorite song of mine, and I'd like to send this one out for Bruce. Susan King joining me on the steel pan for this one. There's a hammock. There's a woman. There's babies. There's me, and there's a seagull sitting on a half-sunk fishing boat, and there's a sail sliding across the sea, and it's good, good to be home again, and feel the sunshine on my skin. It's nice knowing you'll be here for a while. So kick your shoes off and smile. Ain't it good to be home again? Now there's moonlight and there's laughter and there's a song, a seaside lullaby. There's a feeling like I don't need a rhyme or a reason. It's so pleasing to be back by your side. And it's good, good to be home again. And hear those waves rolling in. Where in the world have I been? And it's funny how the seasons just disappear. A little faster every year. Ain't it good to be home again? Thank you, Susan King. Joining me on the steel pan on that one. Beautiful, Susan. Going out for Bruce. All right. Well, we're going to check out one of Bruce's favorite beverages right now other than beer. If it's not made in tequila, they're not allowed to call it tequila. So this is Bacanora. It came right out of the hoses from one of the delivery trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me on this, my, my husband would go and buy three bottles of this at a time from the guy across the street up there. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Bacanora, that's a rather interesting drink, am I right, folks? <laughs> In fact, I think the first time I ever saw Elsa trash was right here on this bar stool. She didn't mean to get trash. She just, they had these different flavors of Bacanora, and Elsa didn't know back then that when you, you know, drink that many shots in the span of about 30 minutes, it, it tends to have an effect on you. It had an effect on her. <laughs> I think she's still hungover. Hey, let's welcome back to the stage uh, our friend here and a friend of a bar down in Mexico and a dear friend of Giggles. It's Sam Rainwater. I think I'm okay, Mark. All right. Just don't trip. <laughs> well, everybody, what a great afternoon, huh? The 
listening to Mark play and all the videos. Thanks, Elsa and the whole crew for taking care of this. So in order to get to Google's place, you have to come up a road called Ranchito's Road. In case uh, you've never been here, uh, it's noted for the size of its potholes. In fact, one time I saw in uh, What's Up San Carlos an ad for apartment for rent. Third pothole on the right on Ranchito's Road. Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road, a road way from hell, ain't meant for heavy loads, no one claims to own it, you are on your own, if you drive too fast your tires may explode. Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road, full of potholes. You don't need speed bumps to slow you as you go. local policy why not fix the holes they said they like it this way we just look down the road if you weave between the holes you're sober we can see but if you're driving straight Bracho you must be Ranchito's Road Ranchito's Road Ranchito's Road A road way from hell Ain't meant for heavy loads No one claims to own it You are on your own If you drive too fast you're tired Ranchito's Road Ranchito's Road You gotta weave, weave, weave You gotta weave between the holes You gotta drive it to get home Ranchito's Road You gotta weave, weave, weave You gotta weave between the holes Gotta drive it to get home, Ranchito's Road. And when they'll fix it, only Jesus knows. Ranchito's Road. Sing along with me, guys. Here we go. Ranchito's Road. Ranchito's Road. A road. Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road, Ranchito's Road. There's a tire repair at both ends. How about Sam Rainwater, everybody? Sammy, love it, man. We all just got drunk, done driving that road, so we, we know the history of that road. So Sam has got a new CD out also. It's called Have Fun Faster, and you can go on his website. You can Google him um, or send him an email. We'll get you that info before the show is over, but you'll really, really enjoy his new album, Have Fun Faster. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, Susan King. Sam's coming back. Um, one of the songs he's going to play tonight 
we can't wait to hear. It's a beautiful tribute to uh, Giggles that he had a chance to sing for her while she was alive, the Duchess of Loma Del Mar. And it's a beautiful song that uh, you got to stick around because that's coming up in just a little while. Hope everybody out there watching us tonight is having fun. Hey, one thing I'm going to do tonight, just so you know, um, far down in Mexico, you know the cover, this cover right here, maybe Elsa can hold it up in front of the camera, but you'll notice that little bar lamp right there. That's right here. This, pic it, this album cover was taken right here where I am uh, many years ago. Here, I'll hand this to you, Elsa. You put it in front of the camera. <laughs> see if you can see it. There it is. You can see the bar light uh, behind my head. That's that light right there. And, uh, yep, thank you, Elsa. Um, so what I'm going to do today is my, my Bar in Mexico CD, you know, that's the, the top-selling CD of all of mine, actually. And if you know somebody out there you would like to buy it for, how about if just tonight anything that comes in on that CD, any CDs, if you've already got Bar in Mexico, any CDs you would like to buy tonight, let's, let's just give, send all the money over to uh, Scott and the Valley because I know they've got some funeral expenses to deal with, it's, um, you know, cremation expenses, things like that. There's all kinds of factors when something like this happens. So if you, know, if you would like to do that, or if you want to make a donation to them, uh, to Giggles Kids, why don't you just do this? Why don't you just put, uh, just put uh, Bar in Mexico CD? Just put Bar in Mexico CD, and I'll know. Uh, we'll get in touch. You can send me an email or whatever. And I will, when I'm up in the States... Next week, I will uh, mail you out the CD. And, you know, they're usually 10 bucks. You can, you can pay whatever you want to for it, honestly. Um, donate whatever you want to. Put whatever name of a CD you want, or if it's multiple CDs, just put the titles. You can see those on my website. Uh, any CDs, of course, any books of mine, The Three Miracles, uh, also will send any of those merchandise sales, 100% of it, to Giggles Family. And if you'd like to make a donation, how about if you just say donation for um, Giggles Kids, okay? Um, and thanks for doing that. Um, Bar in Mexico, wow, there's been a lot of people that have performed that song. But one of the most fun times I had singing this song was up the road from here with one of Mexico's top country bands, Six and a Half Mexicans. The Forastero Country Band joined up with me. And here's a little version that we did of a bar down in Mexico. Un, dos, tres, well, I have worked my fingers to the bone Trying to build myself a happy home But the more I work, the more goes to the man So now I've got myself a better plan I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico Where I can for the friends I know A shadow or two of fun down by the sea I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico What else could I ever need But the sun, a bar in Mexico with me well, I will pack up all my friends one day
is that a fun band or what? Six and a Half Mexicans and I have done shows in Rocky Point. We've done them uh, here in San Carlos. Uh, I'd love to get them to the United States to sing with me, but it's kind of complicated. <laughs> then again, I can't even get my wife to the stage these days. But that's another subject. Anyway, uh, boy, Bar Down in Mexico, I know, I know we've heard that a, a couple times tonight. You're going to hear a, again later on tonight. But, um, you know, there are several folks who have mentioned giggles and songs. And let's hear about that right now. So, Giggles, you are famous. You've actually had your name mentioned now in three songs. Wow. Remember what they are? Yes. A Bar Down in Mexico. Yeah. My Kind of People. Yeah. And The Ballad of Mark Mulligan. <laughs> by, by Rudy B. By Rudy B. I love it. Well, guess what? I heard that there's another song that you've been featured in now. Can you believe it? Song no, number four. I, you know, I don't know of anybody else that that's... Except maybe Buffett. <laughs> He's the only one that has outscored me. <laughs> well, we, but, we have a song coming up so, today. You know, I, I do have a new song for you, and it's going to debut on the show on Monday. So you guys all stick around and be sure to listen to this, this song about giggles. Uh, me and uh, Chris Roth, we uh, crowned her the Duchess of Mama Del Mar. How about that, giggles? Wow. Uh, and trust me, it's wonderful. <laughs> That is so cool. I'm about to play for you one of the songs that she just mentioned right there that she's mentioned in. Uh, Giggles, boy, she's famous in music, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, all these country stars, they always mention these country guys who don't even, never even grew up listening to country, but they all mention Willie Nelson and Hank Williams. Yeah, even though they're all nothing but pop. Well, Giggles gets mentioned quite a bit, I think more than those guys. So, um, hey. I'm standing with a dear friend of Giggles and Les Bobby and Leslie Salem. You're going to see Bobby in just a few minutes, her husband, but they are a big part of the musical, uh, I don't know, the history in this town. Heart and ride. they have been around here for a long time and done so much for charity with their music. And both of them have just had great musical careers in the States before they ever came here uh, to Mexico. Uh, so you'll hear a song by Bobby in just a few minutes. But what I really like, Leslie, most about you was uh, Leslie and Giggles were unlikely friends. They, when it comes to so so many things, just like you know that's going on with a lot of people, they couldn't be more night and day in the way they think about things that tear people apart. Honestly, but when you would look on a Wednesday night, who was sitting next to each other every gig, and it was just the coolest thing to see these two being the friends they were week after week after week. And I always thought, wow, if the world could be like Leslie Salen and Giggles, this crap wouldn't all be happening. And the word unify would actually mean unify. So I want to thank Leslie for that because that was a really powerful thing for me to watch every single week, and it really struck me. Well, I just adored her. We were unlikely, uh, unlikely friends, yeah. but we were best buddies for 18, 19 years quick story he tells me hey you guys are new musicians in town you got to go over to this to my friend giggles bar otherwise you're not official <laughs> okay so i get in here and bruce and giggles go have you ever tried bacchanora <laughs> i said no but i'll be happy to try it well i remember the second drink <laughs> i don't remember much after that i woke up the next day naked with oh. with two thousand pesos in my purse oh. I understand that uh, I was really funny, uh, that we stayed until she was ready to turn the lights out, and I, I adored both her and Bruce. They were dear, dear friends. I promised I wasn't going to blubber, <laughs> but uh, she would have loved this today. Yeah, she would. Well, Leslie, thank you so much, really, and we're looking forward to hearing a song that Bobby wrote for uh, Giggles. Boy, is there anybody in this crowd who didn't write a song for Giggles? She got to hear it. She got if, to hear if she got to hear the song, that's really cool. So you guys are all going to hear it too. But when I would watch you, Leslie, honestly, that's, that's one of the things that's always made me proud of this town is that people realize we're all here for a reason. And I love it when people are able to just take whatever differences that them and leave them at the border. The border's four and a half hours that way. Dump them <laughs> off. Go on, watch your TV and do whatever you do in your house. But I love it at Palapa. It's just always a place 
where people come together and you don't see arguments. You just see people that help each other out. Can't wait to help each other out. I swear, if you have, uh, there are people waiting on the road for you to have a flat tire. <laughs> well, truth is, we don't have much else to do around here. <laughs> So I'm going to send this next one out. And uh, some of you guys actually show up in this song. And I mean it when I say San Carlos and all of you guys watching who are kind of my honorary San Carlos friends, no matter where you are, you are my kind of people. Jim was lying in a hospital. They thought he was gonna die. His brother said, bro, I got an idea. You wanna go for a ride? The car's all packed. The engine is running. I'm heading for Mexico. Jim said, I'm in. The nurse freaked out and he hobbled on out the door. 10 years later, Jim's still kicking and he's got himself a beautiful gal. Running round this little beach town, the boy's still having a ball. Let me tell you about my kind of people, my kind of place, my kind of moments, and my kind of days. Cesar's got a seaside joint just south of here. Forget about that pina colada, cause all he's got is beer. The place ain't nothing but a fallen down shack, weathered by the waves and wind. I hope you like water, cause you'll be sitting in it when the tide comes rolling in. He'll cook you a fish that he caught that day, then he'll belt out a song for the crowd. He'll drink half your beer, but don't worry, Bob. The next one's on the house. I'm talking about my kind of people in my kind of place in my kind of moments my kind of day it's my kind of day to just hang out with a whole bunch of my friends I'll catch it down at giggles for a bite he had a life in the real goes by Captain Bob. Down here, no one knows your last name, but everybody knows who you are. Like Larry and Maris, Giggles and Bruce, Keitha and Lamanga John. Yeah, Howard, he actually got up to four boats and Bomberg's back in town. There's Carla and Denny, Jim and Helen, and Flint from Barracuda Bob's. On just another Tuesday, a not much Tuesday, and that's all with us Some guitar playing green goes banging out a tune and they're tearing up the old dance floor Giggles asked me otra más but who can ask for anything more when you're singing for my kind of people in my kind of place, come on guys, my kind of moments, my kind of days, let's do it together now. My kind of people, in my kind of place, my kind of moments, these are my kind of days. I mean that. You know what? I, Phyllis, Phyllis, can I get you up here a sec so people can see your beautiful face? She's going to kill me for doing this. It's nice to have some of, of Giggles' friends here. Be careful with the cables. It's really nice to have some of Giggles' friends here tonight at a bar down in Mexico sitting out on the patio. Uh, as I was singing that song, I, it just couldn't be more fitting to have right in front of me this woman. This is Phyllis. And you know, when... When times got tough for me and I went through my toughest moments and I suddenly found myself being a single dad with a five and a one-year-old kid, guess what this woman did? She rounded up a whole bunch of people and for two months straight, I think it was, 
Maybe three months or so, yeah. And you know what he did? He called me up one day and he says, I'm getting fat. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the reason why is because she rounded up the whole town and organized everybody to cook dinners for me. And so every single night at 5 o'clock for Marcos, Luis, and me, my doorbell would ring. I would answer it. Sometimes it was a face I recognized. Sometimes it wasn't. And people brought me uh, just home-cooked meals, and I never forgot that. Phyllis went to bat for me, and that's San Carlos. That's the way this town is. That's my kind of people right there. Phyllis, love you. I want to tell you something else. One year to the month after that, my husband died. Yeah. We spent a few, two or three o'clock in the morning crying. We did. We did. So everybody give it up for Phyllis. Uh, just she is just a living example of that song as everybody else I'm looking at here. Okay, well we mentioned uh, songs that Giggles has mentioned in. I think we need to hear another one right now. Somebody watching this show out there in Phoenix right now, it's a big part of the show. Rudy B has performed on this show several times, amazing guitar player. He actually is the one who wrote the theme song for this show and every single week he updates it with your pictures. He goes the extra mile to make Monday shows so good. Beth, uh, his wife, helps out with that too. And Rudy even wrote a song that's really cool and Giggles is in it. Let's hear it right now. You know, I wrote this song about Mark Mooligan, but I have to tell you, one of the very first things that happens in this song, we talk about Giggles. Well, here it is. (laughs) Here we go. I sang with Mooligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. Well, I'm a guitar playing fool again. Ever since I met Mark Mooligan, ever since I met Mark Mooligan, well, we heard about him singing in a Mexican jail. That's true. There was an eight ball to his head. You know, that's a really good tale. in this living room. Well, they all made their way into one of his tunes. Well, I sang with Mulligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. I'm a guitar playing pool again. Well, ever since I met Mark Mulligan, ever since I met Mark Mulligan, He's at And his favorite senior Rita Elsa 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 and all four kids You'll find him singing for a living at one of his gigs. Help us out everybody! Yeah. Well I sang with Mulligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. Well I'm a guitar playing fool again. Look who is with me. Sam Rainwater's back, and we promised that you would hear a beautiful song that he wrote in tribute to Giggles. Uh, Sam Rainwater, take it away. Thank you, Mark. I've got to give credit to my three co-writers on this song. It's uh, Chris Roth and his wife Mary and uh, Patty Duncan for some of the help on this song. So it's a group effort. We were trying to think... What do you call Giggles? You can't call her the queen or the, she's not a princess. So it came up with the Duchess. She's the Duchess of Loma Del Mar. With a bar down in Mexico that's no near and far. (laughs) Here at her bar with the Duchess of Loma Del Mar. She's the Duchess of Loma Del Mar 
the bar down in Mexico that's known near and far. People from over the world love to get a drink at her bar. Musicians, let's start over again. Musicians all over the world play to get their picture on her wall. Living proof to show it's okay to have a trailer down in Mexico. I wrote that song a long time ago. by herself by the sea we all make sure she lives happily in her very special home with her shih tzu kids she's never alone she's the duchess of loma del mar with a bar down in mexico that's no near and far if you're a beer get a drink at her bar with the duchess of loma del mar Parties roll into the street at the end of Ranchito's Road. Just turn right at Calle Cantina. Hey, giggles, I'll have a tequila. She's the Duchess of Loma del Mar with a bar down in Mexico that's no near and far. Ask the senorita for a margarita. She's the Duchess of Loma del Mar. She's the Duchess of Loma del Mar. With a bar down in Mexico that's no near and far. Ask the senora for a bacanora. She's the Duchess of Loma del Mar. Giggles of Loma. How about Sam Rainwater, everybody? Yeah. Go, another one going out for giggles. Wow, she has been immortalized in music many times now. Well, I think it's time we all do a shot with giggles right now. What do you think? Ready? All right, giggles, we'll take one of those. All right, everybody ready? Here's the giggles. The giggles. The giggles. Yeah. 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 Mexico. You know what? If we're gonna if we're gonna do a shot like that, I need to get Anais over here and Pablo with me to join me for a song. Uh, we are in a bar, and I think we can do a little drink in Mexico dry. What do you guys think? <laughs> hey, we got a lot of people joining us tonight. A lot of San Carlos friends, and a lot of people from all over the country. I'll tell you, I. Never realized, honestly, how many fans Giggles has. But when, as I read the comments that have been coming in on Facebook uh, over the last couple of days, it's just amazing how many people say, oh, wow, I was down there, you know, six years ago and drove by your house and thought it was a bar and, you know, stopped and had a drink and she told stories and we got to be friends. And, you know, every, it seems like everybody had some kind of connection to Giggles and Bruce. And I just think that's the coolest thing. Uh, so... One of these days, who knows, when you're in San Carlos, we'll still get you to drive by this place. And who knows? I, I have the feeling that you'll still be able to grab a drink here at a bar down in Mexico. Um, see, so, see, here. Oh, yeah, thank you. We, we, we had a national emergency for a moment. Uh, okay, <laughs> our long national nightmare is over. Okay, Pablo and Anais are back. How about a little drink in Mexico dry? And you guys know your parts on this song. We need your voices, everybody. Let's do it. With salt shakers, chasing every shot with a lime. Old geezers and gold diggers, it's amazing what money can buy. They're all drinking Mexico dry, dancing on the tables and 
falling on the floors all drinking Mexico dry and I wish that they would just go I know what you're thinking right now. Drinking Mexico dry. Expatriated from the red, white, and blue. Now he's drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that he would just go home. They'll always tell you, don't drink that water. But this ain't what they mean. They call the culture intoxicated. I see our underage white trash playing king for a day, screaming, hey, waiter, speak English, can't you see I'm from the USA? They're all drinking Mexico dry, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor, they're all Vida loca, he wants to really get wild. Another shot at vacation's over. Now he's here for a while. Cause he got hammered, he got nailed. They threw his button again. And now it's please God, they get me out, and I'll never drink with giggles again. No more. Finally learning how to say no more. Drinking Mexico dry. And he wishes he could just go home. Yeah, I wish that they would just go home. Skanky folks with rum and cokes. I wish that they would just go home. Pablo and Anais joined me on the bass and percussion. Great job by those two. All right. Well, we have another gentleman in the crowd. You met his wife, Leslie Salem, before. And we told you that Bobby Salem wrote a beautiful song for Giggles that he had a chance to play for her while she was alive. And uh, we'd like you to hear it right now. It's a video that they put together for a show they did here many years ago at a bar down in Mexico. And let's check out this song right now by Bobby Salem. Down in Sonora lives a lovely senora Whose grace never goes out of style Her name may be Jeannie, but we all call her Giggles For her laugh and her dazzling smile Giggles, you light up the dark It's your warmth and kindness that sets you apart Friend without measure, you're simply a treasure, just like any great work of art. Giggles, you light up to the dark. Her home's a cantina where friends come to see her, to set cares aside for a while. A magical station for laughs and libation. Where friendship and smiles are in style Giggles, you light up the dark It's your warmth and kindness that sets you apart A friend without measure, you're simply a treasure Just like any great work of art Giggles, you light up the dark Small slice of heaven down Mexico way where laughter and music ring out every day.
giggles, you light up the dark. It's your warmth and kindness that sets you apart. A friend without measure, you're simply a treasure, just like any great work of art. Giggles, you light up the dark. Giggles, you light up the dark. Bobby Salen wrote that song, and it's a beautiful tune, and I know that Giggles really, really appreciated it. So thank you, Bobby. Everybody give him a round of applause for that song. Great job. Um, we have a, a, a lot of great music in this town. Bobby and Leslie have been a part of it. Of course, Sam and Susan. There are just some amazing bands all over the place. There's music in this town really seven days a week. Uh, for a town this small, it's it's pretty interesting. San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico, if you're wondering where we are. And, uh, you know, we're just about, what, four and a half hours south of the border. We're only about five and a half hours from Tucson. You guys in the southwest, if you want to ever come down and visit us, uh, we'd love to have you down here, and we'll show you a good time. Um, one thing that I'm always amazed at, Giggles kind of exemplified San Carlos music fans because a lot of places you go, you know, even around the States, people just want to hear cover songs. They don't want to hear a guy getting up there and doing his own stuff. This town is different. This town really, really supports singer-songwriters, and they want you to do your thing. And that's why, you know, it's been nearly 30 years now of me being down here, but uh, they still haven't kicked me out. I'm fortunate about that. <laughs> but I couldn't have found a better place and a better group of people. Um, so this is a song that when I sing it, I think of people like Giggles, who every single Wednesday night... Um, come to a show and uh, host me in their home like so many of you guys watching have done all over the country. I'll be doing it again this summer in places like Colorado and Reno and uh, getting the Midwest. A lot of times that's you guys hosting me for a house concert in, um, in your town. And it means the world. You know, I think all the time how Jimmy Buffett has got millions and millions and millions of fans, but you know what? I think I've got more friends. And I really, I'm, I'm serious. He's got way more fans, but I think I got more. That's no slam on Jimmy Buffett. He's got a lot of friends. I just think I got more. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to brag about you guys. I hope I'm not wrong on that. <laughs> Who knows what you're saying behind my back. I was reading about this rock star, griping about his fans, how he's sick and tired of signing autographs, how people asking for pictures is such a total pain. <laughs> I thought of you guys, and I raised my glass. Because I've sung in your backyard and had you jumpstart my car as this circus show moves from town to town. Slept on your couches and helped you polish off your rum. And through the years, one thing I found we keep it real. Man, that's our deal. And it's been that way ever since the start. You share so much of you, and I try to do the same every time I pick up this guitar. Writing songs, that's what I do. Wrote this one to say thank you, thank you for putting up with me, thank you. Cause who knows where I'd be? <laughs> Probably unemployed or in jail. So thank you. Now you've been with me through good times. Shared a lot of laughs And you stuck with me when things got real bad You even showed up on my doorstep With home-cooked meals As I learned how to be a single dad Then you cheered me on When God came along And brought a brand new love into my life And we partied on the beach As one big family on the day that Elsa became my wife. 
That superstar might think he's pretty cool. But me, I simply say thank you. Thank you. Time and time again, thank you. Because he may have fans, but I got friends. Some old, some brand new. Thank you. When the show is over, you help me load my gear. That was a hint to you guys. <laughs> then I buckle up and head on down the road. Exactly where it's going to lead is anybody's guess. I just want to say one thing before I go. Thank you. Because I'm grateful as can be. Thank you for helping this boy to live his dream. Cause there's nothing else on earth I'd rather do Thank you For just being who you are Thank you For letting my music be a part Of your lives like you guys always do Thank you And this little song's the least that I can do To thank you Thank you very much. Gracias. And uh, boy, I really was I really was fortunate to have Giggles in that front row seat and not somebody with glass objects who didn't like my music. Thank you, Giggles. I owe you big time. Um, yeah, you definitely did not want to boo me in front of Giggles. Because <laughs> that, that girl went to bat for me. She was a loyal, loyal fan. And we just love her and we miss her. And Scott and Valley, we hope you guys are doing okay. We hope you're enjoying the show tonight. Um, we hope it's lifting your spirits a little bit in watching this. And uh, anyway, we're all thinking of you and praying for you. But most of all, we hope you're smiling and feeling good tonight about Bruce and Giggles and the bar down in Mexico and all, all the love and support from so many people in this town. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Well, tell you what, I, I can just never get enough of singing a bar down in Mexico. Let's, let's, let's bring a few friends into this bar and see what happens. Giggles, one thing I love about this bar is the sign. Me too. It says it all, the bar down in Mexico. And you know what? That was made actually by uh, a couple of great friends of mine, Gary and Patty Janko, out near Jacksonville, Florida. Gary and Patty, great job on this. You helped us add some flavor to uh, to this place. What do you think, Giggles? Absolutely. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I think we ought to sing it. I'm going to buy me a, a bar down in Mexico where I can't afford the friends I All right, well, we're bringing the band back on stage. You guys have heard our, my friend Susan King tonight on Steel Pan. We have had Sam singing a few of his songs, and don't forget, he's got a new album out. I'm going to get Pablo and Anais out here to help me on this next song, too. But aside from the band, I need all of you guys to help on this. So we're going to do this one together, and we're going to do it so loud that giggles can hear us. That's right. So everybody out there, Please repeat after me when I say guacamole. guacamole. We can do better, guys. Guacamole. guacamole. I, I think I just heard giggles. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. This song has been sung in a bar down in Mexico many times. Voy a bajar el tempo un poquito. I met her at the mercado. She was buying a and man, she really turned me on She reached for my pepper And I grabbed her tomatoes I knew it wouldn't take very long She walked up to La Mesa She picked up some cerveza So I picked up some onions and limo And the way she looked at me Man, 
I could clearly see that it wouldn't take very long. Guacamole! Guacamole! We'd be making guacamole all night long. Guacamole! Guacamole! We'd be making guacamole all night long. Susan King! I come up for you. Guacamole, I like it. Give us another one of those, Susan. <laughs> She's rocking. Everybody, give it up for Susan King. She walked up to the mesa. She picked up some cerveza, and man. She sure looked good to me, gay bonita. She reached for her money. I said, wait a minute, honey. I believe this one is on me. We got in my pickup. We started to back up. We headed on down the road. We went into her casa. We ate tortillas de masa. And we made guacamole all night long. Guacamole all night long. Guacamole. Guacamole. We were making guacamole all night. Mix up some more guacamole for us, Susan King. Toda la noche. Guacamole. Guacamole. We'd be making guacamole all night. One more time now. Guacamole. Guacamole. We were making guacamole all night long. Guacamole. Guacamole. We were making guacamole. All night long. Give it up for the band. <laughs> yeah. All right, great job. Sam Rainward on the uke. Susan King on the uh, steel pan. We got Pablo and Anais on bass and percussion. And Bobby up here singing along, too. So, hey, tell you what. Um, this, I think, this next one is just my favorite <laughs> video of the night. Um, let's hear from Giggles right now. Giggles speaking from the heart to all of you guys. Uh, cool. Hi. I want to thank everybody who's come to my bar through the years. We've had so many wonderful times and so many wonderful memories. I thank all of you for adding to my life. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to call Pablo and Anais back up here. I loved hearing Giggles uh, right there. What a special woman. Giggles, we love you. Anais, ya lista. We're going to do just one more song here. I want to remind you that if you would like to make a donation to Giggles Kids, just to help out with funeral expenses. They didn't request that from me, just so you know. That's just something we thought of here. I do have my CD, and if there's any CDs, I know we've got some money from folks here in the crowd. If there's any CD of mine that you want or my book, you can donate any amount you want. You just tell me the name of the CDs that you want, and we will be happy to hook you up. We'll mail it to you. And you kill two birds with one stone. You can send this to somebody as a gift if you have already got my music. And uh, it'll go to help out Giggles family during a time when there's always uh, just unexpected expenses that come up on these things. Uh, any CD you want or my book, The Three Miracles, just make sure when you make a PayPal donation or a Venmo donation, just leave a note that says what it's for. And thanks to the studio audience for all their support on this. We're going to close out with one more song here. And there is just, I know we sang it before, but we couldn't hear you out there singing along. There is no more fitting song to close out with than Giggles' song. We're going to take you guys all back down here to a bar down in Mexico. And let's do it together. Are you ready? 
Well, I have worked my fingers to the bone Trying to build myself a happy But the more I work, the more goes to the man So now I've got myself a better plan I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico where I can pour the friends I know a shot or two up and down by the sea. I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun? Giggles plays Giggles Rocks And I'll be pouring drinks from dusk up till the dawn While we dance the night away with Bobby sailing on I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico Where I can pour the friends I know A shot or two of fun down by With nothing on my mind Pouring margaritas And a palm tree paradise I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico Where I can pour the friends I know A shot or two up and down by the sea I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico What else could I ever need? But the sun up on in Mexico with me. What else could I ever need? The senoritas by the sea. The sun up on in Mexico. And all of you guys, help us out. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. for helping us celebrate the life of Giggles. We love you, Giggles. What a night at a bar down in Mexico. Thank you guys all for joining us. I know that Elsa and I had planned to take guys to El Fuerte Sinaloa on our travel videos tonight. Didn't quite work out, but guess what? We're going to do that next week. We're coming back. Same time, same channel. We always appreciate you guys joining us and supporting our show like you do. On behalf of Elsa and all four of my kids, Thank you very much. Everybody give a big round of applause to Giggles. And send one out for Bruce, too. And and also for their kids, give them a round of applause. We hope you guys are hanging in there. Love you guys. God bless you. And we will see you next week. Let's make our way down to Mexico Where we can meet the friends we know White sand, warm sun, and H2O It's time for us to get back to laid back Try a different beer from our favorite six pack This crazy world says, come on, let's go Time for the music man, a coastal kid with guitar in hand. Even bad days are good here on the island. Giving us a place where we can talk to each other, fan to fan. Uncharted courses crossing our paths. It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics 
It's a Mexican hideaway The life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island It's the right place and the right time To be south of the border again This is the day we get to listen in We don't sing no blues anymore We kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand Even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics A Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island I'll be smiling here on Mulligan's Island. Jim was lying in a hospital. They thought he was going to die. His brother said, bro, I got an idea. You want to go for a ride? The car's all packed, the engine is running I'm heading for Mexico Jim said, I'm in The nurse freaked out and he hobbled on out the door Ten years later, Jim's still kicking And he's got himself a beautiful gal Running round this little beach town The boy's sure having a ball Let me tell you about it my kind of place My kind of moments My kind of days Cesar's got a seaside joy Just south of here Forget about that pina colada Cause all he's got is beer The place ain't nothing but a fallen down shack Weathered by the waves and wind I hope you like water Cause you'll be sitting in it When the tide comes rolling in He'll cook you a fish That he caught that day Then he'll belt out a song for the crowd He'll drink half your beer But don't worry buddy The next one's on the house I'm talking about My kind of people My kind of place My kind of moment My kind of day to just have 